So today we're taking a look at the Terraleptor figurine from the Eagle Moss figurine collection, which is part 42 of the Doctor Who figurine collection. Now, before we get into this uh, little bit of explanations, I guess, uh, been kind of gone for a little bit. Uh, like I said in the video, not really into Doctor Who at the moment, so uh, yeah, videos kind of will slow down. Um, I'm sorry, you know, obviously when I am into Doctor Who, I get content like at least every other day. So, um, yeah, don't worry though, um, it's not like I'll never be into Doctor Who again, or, you know, it's just crap now. Don't, you know, also my opinions on stories as well, if you contact me outside of YouTube, um, don't take any of them seriously at this point, because I'm probably going to say most things are shit. Um, but anyway, I thought we'd bring back the figurine reviews, uh, I've not done one of these for a while, uh, because I kind of just didn't see the point in them, and I was more focused on doing my actual action figure reviews for the character options line so I kind of put these away and thought nah, right, I'm done with them, not going to do any more uh, but I think I should really review the other ones I've got got since I did those and that's quite a few and it's also a nice easy video and it shouldn't waste too much of your Friday night if you're watching this as it goes out or whatever so without further ado I'm not going to look at the book because uh, yeah it's you know I don't think anyone's really that bothered uh, the box we'll have a little look at. It is the same as every figurine collection box. Of course, we've got the fifth doctor, Terraleptal, and whatnot. And then it will just be displayed nicely in the. Still, it looks like water to me. A bit of a vortex kind of thing. But yeah, it's nicely packaged, I guess. You can't really moan at that. Anyway, the figurine itself. He is quite well painted uh, to start with. Uh, I know there is, for example, uh, Tides Travelers is not the best of paint jobs. This one's been done quite nicely. As you can see, we have uh, all the face detail here. We have the scarring at the beginning here of the eye, which uh, is a very faithful representation of what it is. We also have the blue eye with the white dot in, uh, which again, quite faithful to uh, its on-screen counterpart. Now we have this sort of pattern of red and orange in that. It's in the right sort of order. It does begin with a bit of yellow and then red, and then yellow, then red, and yellow on that side. Uh, it's all very sort of, um, sort of like ripped skin kind of thing going on and of course the whole sides might be sort of uh destroyed a bit like two face away from batman uh this side i guess is what a normal tyroleptal would look like uh and it seems like the scarring that he got from prisoners mainly just uh here and here the sort of a uh, neck part which uh, is probably the worst part of the costume in the actual story as it just moves around a lot and just doesn't look very good he's been actually looks a lot better here than it does in the actual story because in the story it's sort of one side colour here we've got lots of other bits of colours mainly just cyan with the green mixed in and it really sort of smoothens it out makes it look a lot better uh, at the back we have a sort of like a um, sort of the second half of a mermaid or whatever because we have this sort of tail thing at the bottom fish orientated with the way it is with all the scales and then with the actual tail itself here you know, it's got a very sort of reptilian, sort of fish-like. I guess this is, could be its armour, um, you know. And it's all been, it's been very nicely sculpted, I will just say, you know, all the detail on that. All these figure, figurines have been very nicely sculpted because I don't think people realise the actual size of these things. Uh, they are about the size of my finger. So, you know, they aren't the, hu the biggest things ever. You know, the five-inch figures are about that tall. So to get this level of detail on is quite impressive. And then we have uh, the main sort of... I guess spine going on the back. The front is uh, more, I guess, scales again, really, to be honest. Uh, I don't, you know, it's very hard. The hard part of reviewing monsters like this is was describing it because what words do you use other than it looks like a pteroleptal? Uh, it looks a little bit fat. I don't really remember it being quite like that. Then again, the actor wasn't the slimmest of chaps. It's got some nice uh, green deep paint detailing of course we have uh, different shades and whatnot I mean that's cyan again his hands are like claws and they've been quite well done um the little bit different to what they actually look like because if you uh had a look at a photo of a pterodactyl's hands for example here they're they're the shapes that right just the color it'd be hard to ma match that as it is very random but yeah it's, it's an okay representation we have his manacles here which uh who did you use these on? Um, I want to say Tegan and Adric, I think, is what he uses these on. Um, they've been quite nicely done. You can see sort of the uh, chain holding together being held in his hand. And they've got a very nice sort of float looking to him. 
So, uh, yeah, they're quite nice. Very flimsy. I wouldn't really put any pressure on them, otherwise they will snap. With Eagle Moss, they aren't the most well-built things either, which is fair enough because they are made of a pewter, I think. Uh, basically, they are metal. Um, a very weak form of metal, but metal nonetheless. And then we have these sort of flipper-like feet, which are separate colours. It'd be hard to know whether this is accurate. I'd assume they've done it for a reason. Um, I guess, actually, if we have a look at a picture of these legs... Guess you can. They are different colours. It'd be. I don't really see, think that one's purple. I think that one is red, and that one is just beige. But I'm not sure. I, it's odd how what colour just to gone with there. But I guess it kind of works. Um, it doesn't really jump out as being overly wrong. Uh, his kneecaps as well. will just. I'll just say it all have been quite well sculpted uh, with sort of the gaps and whatnot, and then the sort of dark green area. But yeah, all in all, it looks quite nice. Um, it's. This is sort of when the figurine collection got from, you know, started getting a bit, a few more detailed paint jobs and started getting a few more interesting characters. For example, this is the only real figure of a pteroleptor you can get other than possibly, was it a Weetabix? Although that might be wrong. I don't, uh, Holocaust Miniatures may have done one. Uh, but this is one of the first ones we've seen in a long time in Mon Doctor Who merchandise. Uh, the base, I'll just quickly go sit, look at as well. It says pteroleptor. Uh, it's got a number on there, which if you know what that means, I'd suggest going outside a little bit more. And then tail up to the visitation, uh, ACG3089. Yeah, no idea what that means. And then Doctor Logo 2012 and whatnot. I, but I'm sure if anyone's bothered, they can read. Uh, the thing I don't like about these is they never, they're never just cut the same. I mean, look at the gap there, and then look at the gap there. It just drives my OCD insane. It's like, why can't you just get a standard size and stick it in the right area? I mean, for God's sake, you know, these are these cost about £10 each, which is about the, the price a character options figure would, would have costed uh, back in the day. Uh, and of course, now they well, some of them hold the price of around 10 Others, some have gone down, and some have gone up, and some have gone so far up, it's ridiculous. Anyway, uh, what's the final verdict for him, I guess, would be the next question. Uh, I'd say... It, this depends. A, it depends on the collect the figurine collection. If you don't collect it, uh, then really start with the Pteroleptal. It's probably not the best of figures to start with. I'd suggest if you're going to start with the figurine collection, go with the Cybermenace or the Quark. Go with more robotic type characters, as those are their better ones. Uh, like Quark, Cybermen, Daleks, they look really nice. Stuff like this isn't their best work. N not to say it's bad, but it's not their best. So, I guess... You can still pick him up for about £8 now, which is still a decent price. He is worth the £8. If, it's, if you collect the figurine collection and you love the classic ones, definitely think, consider picking this guy up. He's not a problem at all. Get one on a decent paint job, because I can see how all, all this area, if not painted properly, could look rather crap and uh, would not very look good on display. Uh, the Fifth Doctor doesn't really have many figures, figurines at the moment in his collection. Recently, we had the Silurian from The Warriors of the Deep released, uh, which looks very nice, and um, yeah, he... He's a he is a figurine I'm quite he's sort of I'm quite interested in getting because I do like Warriors of the Deep. I'm one of those people who thinks who can look past the effects and can see a decent story in it. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this review. Like I said, sorry for being a bit slow on the content. You guys know why. Uh, I am off though. Uh, I mean, I'm in London for a bit, but I am off. So uh, yeah, maybe start getting chin out a bit of content. I don't want to just have ten figurine collection reviews because as much as you guys like them, I know this is boring. Uh, and also, I know if you don't enjoy the stuff, that it's fine if you don't watch it. Like, my channel, I try to be circular with all the different types of Doctor Who stuff I do. You know, I, I don't want to limit myself to, like, I know the entirely kind of limits myself to reviewing things, but with Doctor Who, you can do that with anything. You know, I want to start, I say I want to do front facing videos, I don't like doing them because I feel like the crap, but you guys seem to enjoy them. So, yeah, I will probably work on those, and with it being summer now in the UK. It's a little easier to get decent lighting in the videos, not like in winter when I was trying to record them, and I might as well be recording a tin box, because the audio quality is awful, and I've got more pixels on my face than, well, that my March video when he films front-facing at times. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to stop wittering on. Hope you've enjoyed. Uh, any other suggestions for videos as well you want to see, say in the comments, um, I'm open to suggestions, because I'd hate the phrase, I've run out of ideas, well, I've not. I've got ideas, but... Uh, laziness is a problem that and as well it's like i've got this idea but i don't see how i'm going to be able to do it and i want to do it properly it's going to take time and i want quicker videos to do stuff like this 
collection, which is why I want to start doing Tigger collection again. Anyway, I'll start with three on now because I've been going on for what three minutes now. Hope you've enjoyed. Uh, final, final words. And um, no, no.